I thought we'd have a go at creating some seamless patterns with MJ and then designing a, a book cover and mocking that up. Well, doing a kind of a mock up anyway, not a complete one, but um, we'll see how we get on. So here I've done three different prompts. Now these are for, going to be for three different kind of parameters, aspects, versions, if you like, of mid journey. So you can see the difference. Right, at the moment, if we go to explore and look up repeating pattern, I don't spell it right. It takes such a long time, honestly. Anyway, let's get back to it. I was going to show you what people are kind of doing at the moment with it just to get some ideas. Oh, there we go. Okay, so these are sort of current ones, popular ones that have been created by people give you some idea of what it can produce repeatable pattern but what I wanted to say about this was a lot of people are using the current version version 4 and while they look amazing they don't necessarily tile very well so when we go through I will show you that I'll show you the difference you can't really tell I mean, if you've got a good eye, you might be able to tell on some of these. But for instance, if you look at this side here, that doesn't match up on here. Well, I don't know whether it's because this is a drop one, but generally I found that they don't necessarily meet up. So that's not so great. Let's try the first one. So we go into forward slash imagine. And then I've just done a magnificent art deco wallpaper seamless pattern of and I've used the emoji of a tiger aconite and flower violet and jade and silver in the style of Erte chaos 50 now the chaos will give hopefully fingers crossed give us four different styles of that so let's give that a click and wait for it to cook now this is version 4 because I I'm set at version 4 in my settings which I will just check that I am. Having said that, because I was playing about with it earlier, I might have changed it without checking. Yeah, so if you do that forward slash settings anyway, just to show you, you've got version 1 there, version 2, 3, 4. Then you've got the Nietzsche mode, which as I said before on another video, that's for the anime. Um, now, before version 4 existed, we had MJ test and MG test photo. MG test is more for illustrations kind of illustrative style and MG test photo is obviously for more for a photographic style and then we've got the qualities I've just got it set at the base quality if you do the higher quality you get a higher quality but that costs more so that uses more hours and again with the style that gives allowance as to how much mid journey takes you on a journey on a mid journey with the style so that best just to kind of like have a play with that but it goes from looking like your prompt to getting more progressively bonkers basically and then I've just got regular upscale mode at the moment because you can always do a light upscale and a beta upscale once you've upscaled it from that I've got remix mode on. I'm going to switch that off because I always have that on and I'm on fast mode at the moment because I'm only on the ten dollar one so anyway, so that's our first one. So looking very much like a tiger, <laughs> not <laughs> it's, but it's kind of done more of the, uh, the purple aconite. That looks a bit like an aconite and flower. But anyway, but you'll see, look, this circle here, it's not matched on this side. So if you try to match that up, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. So, I mean, let's upscale and then I can show you what I mean so if we upscale number number four I quite like that one and then I'll show you so in the meantime while that's kind of nice it's not really what we want if we want to do proper repeating patterns so then next one is to try it with version three which was the one before this one which is when I created a lot of my patterns was before it was version four so I'll just do more or less the same prompt, but on the end, we've got version three. 
I wonder if I put repeating pattern V3, if anything shows up. That's got a few. Have they been done in version 3? Well, no, the upscale is version 4 on there, so I think that's still version 4. Right, so let's just download this V4 icon item pattern. Then Right, yeah, I wanted to show you this really good, helpful website, which I can't pronounce the name, so I can't tell you what it is, but I'll put the link in the Doobry box at the bottom. If we go to just drag that over and then we can scale it to see. I'll scale it a bit bigger because I'm not sure you'll be able to see. But you can see it's just not fitting together. So although it looks really cool, it doesn't really work. You'd have to do quite a lot of fixing in Photoshop or whatever system you use to do that. So let's go back and see if this version 3, what that created. Now they look a bit more like they're possibly going to work. So let's upscale one of those. Number 4 is interesting, isn't it? Right, which one shall we upscale? Let's upscale number 2. While that's cooking, the only thing with V3 is, I don't know whether you can you can tell on here, but I've always found it a little bit grainy. It doesn't give me the, you know, that really, really nice sharp quality that you get with the, with the version 4. I don't really love it that much. See, it's a little bit softer and grainier. Let me save that. When you do, when you see this web P, it's because it's not cooked yet. So just give it a while. I was a bit too keen, I was a bit too swift. <laughs> swift there, it's still cooking. Are you ready yet, dear? God, even this one needs some Photoshop work doing to it. It's still a bit... Yeah. Right, here we go, that's better. So I'm going to save it as that, but put a number one at the end. Back to our seamless pattern checker. Drag this one in. So you can see it works, kind of. It works a lot better, doesn't it? Although there are things that you'd, that you'd want to fix with it. It's not perfect. I mean, you'd want to fix this, for instance, and this one. You'd kind of want them all to look the same, really, wouldn't you? Or maybe you wouldn't. Depends. But um, as a pattern, it sort of works. There's a bit of a line on that one there. I don't know whether that's just the... Uh, is that just this? No, that's coming up as a repeat. So again, that's not quite there. As a pattern, it's quite nice though, isn't it? So right, if we go back to Discord and I pick the third one. So if I copy that, forward slash imagine, paste it in. Now this one, you'll see we've got creative and tile and test. So the version is that MJ test that I mentioned earlier, which is the illustrative kind of version. And in that version, you could just do seamless patterns and they would do it under this parameter called tile but unfortunately v4 doesn't work with that parameter you can't use it so you have to go back to version mj test to be able to use it so let's give that a go these little revolving dots making you think it hasn't finished it has when you've got the these come up the remaster and the upscales you know it has finished so just click on it once and then you'll see it i don't know whether that's just a discord thingy sometimes if you refresh it fixes it so now we've got something completely different happening it's only showing you two instead of four because that's what mj test did but that's looking quite promising i think i'm liking the one on the left what that's developing into again we're not getting the tigers neither of them are really paying much attention to that but we are getting the colours. They're both nice, actually. So that edge here on this one might fix it if you did a, a light upscale or maybe just even if you re-rolled it, that might fix it. Right, let's upscale them one because I like that one. And then let's try because I kind of do want to get the tiger and put the word tiger in there. Let's just do violet and silver and see what happens. So again, with all prompts, really, you put what you want at the beginning. So if you want some magnificent Art Deco wallpaper design. Now notice I've just got wallpaper design. I didn't put repeating pattern because with the tile, you don't have to because you've got it in the tile. 
upscale that. Gosh, that could do with some sorting out as well, actually. I think it needs sharpening. Ordinarily, I'd take that into my... I use On One, and you can make it sharper, and you can upscale in that as well. Save as. We'll save it as number two. Let's call the, this one in. And that looks great, doesn't it? That's VMJ test. So that's dash dash MJ test is the one that you want for doing patterns. So we like that. Right. I'm not going to fix the sharpening or the upscaling in this video because there are a variety of different tools that you can use for that. I might do something with my on one at a later date. But for now, let's go to Affinity Designer and call in that image. It's done quite a big upscale anyway, as it is. It won't be at 300 dpi, so you will need to upscale it anyway, whatever you do, to get it to 300 dpi. But for the purpose of this, let's just pretend that is 300 dpi. I just wanted to then show you how we can make it kind of a, a quick cover for something. Snap on. Hold down. Option. Shift. I'm in Affinity, by the way. Trying to get it so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see that better now. Select those and then do option shift and bring this down. We should be able to do the same again. That gave me the red line so hopefully that's nicely done. So that looks kind of cute doesn't it? So what I'm going to do now is highlight them all and then group them and then we can move them all together in one go. So I'm just going to shift that over a bit so this is the template for prodigy notebooks if you were to go down the kind of print on demand then this gives you the bleed that you need this is for a hard cover and a spine width etc so we can just do an example let's just give it a white box So you kind of want to be in within the those parameters. And then I'm just going to drag a guide to the center so I can then snap to that. You want to just type in your whatever you want to call it. I'll just put that in for now. And then find a nice font, something that's going to work with the design. Set to that. And then I think I'll make it this blue colour. Oops. So let's centre that and then we can fiddle with this rectangle box a bit. Get that centred. And then what if you have a logo, just put your logo in your if you've got a logo and a barcode or whatever, just put those there. I haven't so I won't be doing that for the moment. So then we hide the that. Now we've just got a basic then of, of a book cover. So if we just do a quick export, I'm just going to do a JPEG because I'm not sure the Prodigy mock-up thing can do PDFs. So I'm just going to do a sort of reduce the size down really because this is just for the mock-up. Let's just do about there. Export. So just call it mock pattern for now. Okay, so let's go to HTTPS mockups prodigy com and there you are it gives you a neat little mock-up although that completely doesn't look centered it is centered on the artwork it's just not <laughs> it's just not centering on here for some reason but anyway it's definitely centered on the artwork isn't it yeah <laughs> let's go back to mid journey and um, we were going to give this tiger another go weren't we so let's copy that and art deco wallpaper tiger print pattern and see what happens oh we're definitely getting more stripiness going on they're looking quite wild aren't they coming up interesting okay nice right well i'll leave it there you can have a play yourself but remember you need the tile if i show you on the settings so it's this this is the one that you need mj test and that gives you that dash dash test but remember to pull it back again once you've finished and then the creative just adds 
a bit of a creative flourish to it basically oh, i wonder if that's why i'm not getting the tiger oh that's interesting i'll have a look at that bye for now